Breaking moments ago, Nikki Haley just told Kristen Welker on Meet the Press that she no longer feels bound by the RNC pledge to make to make that she made to endorse the winner of the Republican presidential primary, meaning she might not endorse Donald Trump. The RNC pledge, I mean, at the time of the debate, we had to take it to where would you support the nominee? And you had to, in order to get on that debate stage, you said yes. The RNC is now not the same RNC. Now it's So you're no Trump's longer bound by that pledge? No, I think I'll make what decision I want to make, but that's not something I'm thinking about. Don't think about it, do it. What are you doing? It? So you did, so really, you're not... Just say it. This I'm not me. endorsing the dude. I'm begging. This is me begging, <laughs> begging, begging Nikki Haley to just pick the ball up that they keep throwing to her. Just pick it up, Governor. Pick it up. Just pick it up. I, I just, I, I don't understand. That was her opportunity to say, no, I don't feel bound by it. And frankly, I am still in this race because I don't think Donald Trump should be president Oops. and I won't be endorsing him. And I don't, I'm not ready to endorse Joe Biden. I'm endorsing myself. That's why people need to vote. Like, come on, get yeah, the well, people to But that's that's the thing. So at the end of the day, you're endorsing Donald Trump because I, that you you at this stage, why are you why are you going into Super Tuesday? What's the point of Super Tuesday if you're not prepared to say I, I'm not endorsing this guy? Why are you continuing the fight? It makes no sense otherwise. So draw the line, establish the contrast that you've been talking about, and make it very clear that not just Super Tuesday, but into the conve convention, I'm in this fight. We just talked about, Alicia, in the last uh, segment with the governor, where you have Trump out here talking about, you know, Republicans as rhinos and all this other stuff. Draw the line. And I don't understand, well, that's what I'm thinking about. <laughs> What's to think? Do well, it. Uh, there were two things I noticed. One was the not so subtle shade about this RNC is not the same RNC that I signed this pledge under. This is now becoming Trump's RNC. I also think we should remember he he told her that MAGA doesn't want her. He told her that MAGA needs to kick her out. So if he comes asking for her endorsement, she can very easily say, I'm not going to give you an endorsement that you yourself have basically told me you do not want. There you go. It is That's not what I'm make, saying. Her, her calculation is just not making sense. You either draw a contrast or you don't. Right. And she has started to draw more of a contrast. But I'll just, look, if people are concerned about a future, I just want to say the current vice president of the United States of America stood on the stage next to the now president of the United States of America and said that little girl was me. I was there, okay? It, it worked out in the end. You must compete. That's what campaigns are about. Well, clearly. Uh, and competition's weak right now.